also written about the Birsa tourism corridor. So how exactly do you envision this and what kind of benefits does it uh, bring into a lot of states? You know, history moves in cycles. So while uh, we may have been ignorant of Birsa Munda, I, I, today I see him as an evolving brand. So the level of interest which people have shown across the country is enormous. So like when I first shared the title of my book with a couple of people in Mumbai, they asked me whether he was a mythological character or a historical character. And I think every day the awareness about him is growing. So when I talk of a Birsa, a proposed Birsa tourism corridor, it basically, you know, involves uh, encapsulating all of those areas where he lived Okay. where he studied uh, in a Christian missionary school in, in uh, Chaibasa before he quit. So in fact, you know, it, it's very, you, I don't know whether you are aware of it, but uh, Birsa's life, Birsa Munda's life was a constantly evolving life. Right. His family had uh, converted to Christianity. Eventually he converted to Christianity and then he came out of it. When he realized the vicious cycle which, uh, which missionaries were subjecting the the right. Adivasis and Vanvasis too. Right. For the next four years, he lived in absolute wilderness till he came across a spiritual guru, a Vaishnavite spiritual guru called Anand Pandey, uh, right. who taught him healing, who basically uh, taught him healing. Uh, you know, he, he had some healing powers and uh, with medicinal herbs. So eventually in 1894, when he resurfaced in his village after four years of being in wilderness, he was seen as a spiritual guru come healer, medical healer. And in fact, till 1895, but the, the, the rise in his popularity was so meteoric between, in that one year between 1894 to 95, that the same villagers who, you know, barely, who, you know, who barely knew him or who were happy with him not being in the village, in that one year, they became hardcore devotees of him and eventually in a span of one year that the village turned into a tourist spot that would, a pilgrimage spot that would attract people from maybe, you know, a radius of 10 kilometers all around. So it was only when he was arrested on false charges of sedition in 1895 and those two years when he was put behind in bales and put behind, behind uh, the bars and his people suffered in those two years because of one of the worst famines in 1897 that when he came out in 1897 end, he was open to the idea of, a, of an armed rev revolution which was anyway encouraged by uh, his followers and everybody around him. So if you look at his life, all the places that he had been to, they actually worked to help him evolve into a different avatar altogether. Whether that was a student life in Chaibasa, whether that was his life in wilderness where he actually imbibed some uh, healing powers and spiritual uh, faculties, or whether he came back to practice spiritualism and became known as a social reformer between 1894 to 1895, and eventually the places where he unleashed that revolution in 1899-90. So I think if all of these places document his life, which... I'm sure is an extraordinary life, they would attract a lot of tourists from across the country, besides obviously generating right. local revenue. And if local handicrafts and local art forms are weaved into this, then I think, you know, there is a potential for some of these uh, artists and craftsmen to acquire international fame. So that is the whole so idea. It's definitely a very innovative and a noble idea. And I hope the government takes cognizance of this and uh, perhaps works on, works on it. Uh, has there been any word from the government on this? Well, I've just proposed it two, three days back. So I'm sure okay. it, it's going to take its own time. Do you, do you but think... the idea, the, the core idea is that uh, this should find support uh, from, you know, everybody in charge because it's not, I don't see it as a political move. Right. I don't see it as a political gesture. Charkhand needs a brand identity because in the 21 years of its existence, uh, if you ask me, the potential of the state remains absolutely untapped. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.